Yo, what's going on my fellow gamers? Veteran X here, and today let's discuss how to edge guard, baby. So the first principle with edge guarding is do not be afraid to go out there. And what I mean is this. Look, you see that? You see how I'm out here? Just all out in the middle of nowhere, just not having anywhere to stand on. That's what you're going to have to do when you're edge guarding out here. And you're going to have to use a lot of different moves and mix-ups in order to get comfortable with going out there and attacking your opponents. Now, if you're just starting out with edge guarding, you know, some people may think it's just like standing right here and doing that. And that's a principle. That is one part of edge guarding. But look at all of this area that's out here. All of this. This is real estate that your opponent could be inside and you have to secure that kill. Because if not, they'll just get back on the stage and then continue to wreck havoc. So once you get edge guarding into your kit, you're going to start racking up a lot more KOs when you're playing multiverse. I can guarantee it. You have to put on your uh, bravery shoes <laughs> or whatever and go out there and start attacking. That's the first rule in edge guarding. Do not be afraid to practice going out there. And you don't want to get a new character to try to practice these like techniques with. Get your character that you're most comfortable with and that you have the most playtime with and just use them. Just go out here, go into the lab or go into matches and just practice using your various moves and pretending that you're trying to attack an opponent that's out there because if they get back on stage that's a, a ko that you do not get so the first step is to go out there next let's talk about positioning so when you have an, a position above your opponent while you're edge guarding i want to call that hawking sharking is when you're below your opponent see how i'm below iron giant i'm currently sharking him but if i get above him I'm now hawking him like a hawk. I'm flying above him. And that same principle applies when you're over the edge as well. So the dominant position to have while edge guarding, like when you're below, like this line right here, you want to be hawking your opponent so that way you can get in a killer spike. With Tom and Jerry, you already know about his tried and true frying pan. I cannot tell you how many spikes I got with this guy. And uh, it feels so good landing spikes and getting those KOs. And of course, when you're below your opponent you are then sharking them now i will tell you sharking your opponent while you're off stage is pretty dangerous because they too can attack and possibly spike you as well so you have to keep that in mind power positions are important when you're off stage fighting mainly you want to try to be on top of your opponent or have them to the side so that way you can like do like a forward air ko them off stage in that regard so positioning is important the next thing you want to do while edge guarding is using your projectiles and range moves. Now, if you can attack your opponent by staying right here, more power to you. As you can see with Tom and Jerry, I use a bunch of projectiles. So all of this range right here, I can possibly attack it. Then I have my fish, my uh, fish hook and dynamite. Well, I missed that one. There we go. Dynamite. So if your character has any mobile moves or projectiles within their kit, use them to your advantage. If you can stay on stage, then do it. But if not, go out there, be aggressive, and go attack them. Get you that KO. Let's rack up some KOs, baby. Now I'm talking about. And now we're going to talk about some advanced movement while you're off stage. So when you're in the air, you allow two jumps. One, two. See? Two jumps. You also allow two dodges as well. So one, two two dodges and that's it we're all out and you can use your your special so you can use side special up special and all of these things so all of these movements can give you different maneuverability excuse me maneuverability options while you're off stage so watch this look i did all of that stuff all of that look i'm gonna go down here and i'm still alive let's see how long i can stay off stage There we go. And all of your movement options become refreshed as soon as you touch a wall or land on a platform. So you get all of those movement options back. So that allows you to edge guard an opponent from the depths of hell. Even though you're all the way down here, you can still go out and shark for your opponent and secure that KO for your team. Absolutely. And here's another trick that you can use. If you're out of air options or if you want to bait moves out from your opponent, here's something you can do. Look at this. I'm floating in the air. I use my down air to gain momentum 
and it can glide me down to the stage. So certain characters have glides like Batman and Bugs Bunny, but Tom and Jerry does not have a glide. So instead, you can use their down air to give you some momentum. Also, with Tom specifically, you can shoot your tennis balls to give you like you can float in the air a little bit allows you to float around and different characters have different moves that allows them to float in the air so you just have to try around and practice i'm not going to show every character in the game how this works it's just way too many so if you got your main you probably know like what moves allow you to float while you're in the air and you can use those to kind of gain some uh momentum and uh flight distance as well and notice i still have all of my options here i still have that I still have that again and now everything's refreshed so you can also bait out moves with your opponent by doing things like that and the biggest thing I can tell you is to practice 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 it doesn't happen overnight you're not just gonna automatically watch this video and just become an edgelord god well you might who knows but <laughs> you have to practice this and I'm not talking about this in the lab I'm talking about like in real fights you have to go out there and secure those KOs against your opponents and take them out it's going to build up your confidence you're going to feel so much better and you're going to be getting those ko's baby those beautiful ko's you can put on tiktok and make montages of baby you know what i'm talking about and there are a lot of other movement techniques i can go over but this video will be a lot longer but those are just the basics of edge guarding you have to get out there so remember don't be afraid to go out there positioning is key be sure to hawk your opponents use range moves and projectiles when available and practice advanced movement techniques such as your dares any special moves that can increase survivability and that allows you to attack your opponent while you're off stage oh my goodness i hope this thing helps out a lot for you because hey we about to make some big moves happen and now iron giant you got to go down now buddy there we go close out the video with an iron giant diff <laughs> check me out for more tom and jerry content as well baby and multiverses content subscribe baby and i will see you on the next video now get out there and let's go play some freaking video games.